So far out from the plus E34, not far out from the plus E34, is being safe, sustainable, very importantly, profitable. You know, since in, I've been doing this, oh, okay, sorry about that. Since, I, since I've been in the business, probably one of the greatest heard oppositions to transitioning from Kentucky 31 to a beneficial endophyte product has been the statement that we really can't afford to take our acres out of production to do the renovation. I want to talk to you just briefly about Pinpoint, the Pinpoint Forage Delivery System from Berenbrug. This gives you an option, and the program's focused around extending the grazing season and also increasing the amount of vegetation in your current, your current pastures. Something that you may want to consider is doing 25% of your acres each year uh, if it's a problem to take the acres out of production. And consider this, if we take 25% of the the acres, your pasture acres out of production, we can focus on the other 75% of the acres. And if we can beef up the production in those acres, then we can, we can have the available acres to do the renovations. And Pinpoint offers a variety of species uh, and varieties that you can seed into your pastures and increase the production level of those existing pastures Again, if we can increase the carrying capacity by 25%, you can easily take those acres out of production to put them into your beneficial endophyte product. So just some considerations there for you. The whole idea again is over, or excuse me, the whole idea is about extending the grazing season. You can easily see there that this is the dispersion of forages over the year for cool season grasses. And obviously, you see that we have forage gaps. And the Pinpoint program is all about offering, again, different species and varieties to fill those forage gaps. Certainly, you can stockpile fescues. In the summer, you can use things like summer annuals to fill the forage gaps. And also, you can use things like brassicas to fill the fall forage gap. And we have a really good recipe for doing this, and all of this ultimately increases the amount of vegetation that you have in your pastures. We have these different species and varieties divided up as to when they deliver forage, spring, summer, and fall. And we have a nice slider that will give you the information on how to plant these different species into your existing pastures. So think about that. Again, beefing up your other acres, taking 25% out of production to go into the beneficial endophyte product. So Bar Optima Plus E34, <clears throat> Bar Optima Plus E34, it's probably one of the most tested beneficial endophyte products on the market. It's been tested in 33 trials over 13 years in 12 different states. It's safe for the animals. It's been in stalker cattle grazing trials, dairy grazing, dairy grazing trials, and cow-calf studies, as well as persistence trials. But I want to talk to you about being safe for the consumer. We heard this morning about the importance of quality control. You're going to have quite an investment into renovating these, these acres into the beneficial endophyte fescue. So you want to be sure that you have a live viable endophyte going into the ground. Okay? We have a lot of quality control guidelines in place, clear from the seed production to the processing, warehousing, and distribution. Um, we have a testing protocol to determine toxic endophyte contamination. Uh, certainly, the seed is kept in a hermetically sealed bag. This has a valve on it, lets the moisture out, lets the humidity out, keeps the air out, so on and so forth. And it's also stored in cold storage um, in Tangent, Oregon, and also Iowa. So very important to make sure that we have viability in the seed. One of the major differences between the Berenbrug product and other products on the market is the fact that we bred our novel endophyte into a soft leaf fescue. Two problems with, endo with fescues, one is the endophyte itself, but secondly, it just doesn't tend to be very, very palatable. 
On the right here, you see a traditional fescue. You can see the leaves are pretty rigid, not very pliable, upright, crown density is a little lower. But on the left, you'll see a product, the Bar Optima, that has very pliable leaves, okay? And animals really tend to like this stuff. So the difference between soft leaf fescue and other fescues. There's a leaf uh, magnification, soft left leaf fescue on the left, traditional rough leaf fescue on the right. Quite a difference, okay? Quite a difference in the products. Um, Bar Optima Plus E34 has been, has been proven to be sustainable. This is a, a grazing trial, uh, or excuse me, a persistence trial, as well as a grazing preference trial. And you can see on the left the Kentucky 31. This is after four years of grazing. It's 96% 90 of the stand is remaining. The Bar Optima Plus E34, 92% of the stand remaining. Okay. But something really interesting about this is this is a grazing preference portion in the lavender line here. You can see that the Bar Optima Plus E34 was much higher, much more highly preferred, and certainly the animals camped out on this, but again, it did very, very well as far as the persistency. Profitable, we see 59% more weight gain on Bar Optima Plus E34 can compared to Kentucky 31 fescue. You can also stockpile the Bar Optima Plus E34. Produces lots of dry matter. Testimonials. Earl Johnson states that I see the benefit of using Bar Optima Plus E34 by gaining more pounds of beef per acre with soft leaf fescue and its high digestibility. Peter Gall, during the month of June when the heat set in, Bar Optima Plus E34 was outproducing other species in yield while providing excellent milk production. Gareth Vander Hayden, we love the persistence and palatability that it brings to the pasture. After trying many different fescue options, we found nothing that persisted like Bar Optima Plus E34. Russ Akari, we are very pleased with how the Bar Optima Plus E34 has jumped out of the ground, so it's very quick to grow. Very good emergence. Bar Optima Plus E34 is better late spring and early summer growth than any other fescues that we have. David Cribbs, I'm very pleased with the stand I got the first time and only time I had to seed it. I had planted another product in the past where it took a couple of times to get a seeding. The hay we took from the field of Bar Optima Plus E34 is noticeably better than Kentucky 31 hay, and the cows love it. Since we have planted the Bar Optima Plus E34, we have had no foot problems in that pasture. I wish I would have planted more when I had the chance. So those are some testimonials for you from people that have used the product. Okay, we've had very, very good success with Bar Optima Plus E34. This is an establishment uh, seated in September on September 11th, 2013. This is after 17 days, excuse me, the seating after 17 days, after 27 days, 32 days, 45 days, 58 days, the following year, spring green up, that's the final establishment on May, or May 2nd. So, <clears throat> Um, we get very, very good performance out of the Bar Optima Plus E34. And my time's about up, but I'll questions or do you want to do that at the end, Ray? Justin. Yeah, talk up just a little bit there. Okay. If you're not sure in your area, then Justin over here, just grab him um, or talk to him back in the booth and then I would be able to let people talk. You need to do something to let you tell us and let you get it to the show. Okay. We also have another gentleman here that, that sells Bar Optima.